Hey, yo, what's up with it, YouTube family? <coughs> it's your boy, Max Swagger, and you're watching the Urban Retro. Uh, we're fresh back at the uh, awesome hall. Uh, it was a tremendous day. Uh, it's day two of the Super Flea extravaganza. Uh, it was good. You know, today's Father's Day, so happy Father's Day to all the fathers out there in YouTube land. All right, it's your boy, Max Swagger. And you're watching the Urban Retro, okay? Um, let's just get right to it, man. Uh, we went down to Superflea. It was day two of this extravaganza, uh, Father's Day weekend. I had Mama Cedar with me today. Little man was with me yesterday. But, uh, you know, uh, we was excited. Uh, Mama Cedar was with me, so I was pumped up, ready to go. So her uh, daddy doing his thing. You know what I mean? It was amazing. So, uh, without further ado, let's get right to it, okay? Um, all right, that was part of the last time I went, the very first time I went to Superflu. Y'all saw me get that guy right there. Still very excited about that guy right there, the N64 messenger bag, all right? Uh, let's see. We got all kind of goodies this weekend. Boom, been meaning to get a football game for the N64. I did it. Boom, nice score. It was like $2, something like that. Dude shows me much love. Wife is kind of scared because they know me on my first name basis, all right? So, but you know, that's how your boy Mac goes. You know, when I'm out there on the streets, some people call me Mango. You know, you ever see me, you say, what's up, Mango? I'll be like, yee! Mm-hmm. So... Let's just get to it. Uh, let's stop stalling. All right, got this guy. You know, y'all saw that. A little uh, PlayStation action right there. You know, that was real cool. Real cool. So, what else we get? Bam, I got both these guys for the Xbox, huh? Uh, let's see, it's OG Xbox right there. A little Tony Hawk Underground 2. And then... Tony Hawk's America Wasteland. That was pretty amazing. So we was happy about that. I got that for a little bit of nothing. Bam. We Sports uh, Resort. Resort Sports. Bam. We love it. Bam. Got that for like $2. Bam. That guy goes for like $15, $20 online all day. Uh, another Tony Hawk for the original uh, PlayStation. PlayStation 1. Yeah. So I've been... Ramping up on my collecting on the uh, original uh, PlayStation, the PS1. Once I figured out, I was like, oh, shit, man. The PS3 is compatible with that. I need to start getting games. I've been passing up deals left and right on that guy. Um, man, this looked fun, man. I, I used the excuse that I was getting it for my little man. I, you know, yeah, I used it that I'm getting it for my son. But in reality... Daddy's the one that wanted it, so I got that for the family, for real, for real. But I used it under the guys that I was getting it for the son. All right. Sometimes Mac gets uh, computer games. You know what I mean? I'm just gonna start, man. This is a big collectible guy right here. People know about this guy right here. Uh, it's like you know one of the first shoot 'em ups. You know what I mean? They really filmed this like a movie. So this is with stop motion, like the original uh, Mortal Kombat. That was cool. I got that guy for a dollar. Really dope. Uh, look at this. Excited. You know I'm going to get excited every time I come across GameCube games. Uh, got this guy. Because I did not have a football game for the GameCube. So we got that. Boom. Uh, it said $3, but I think I got it for a dollar. Bam. Uh, you saw yesterday I got this for the missus. I used the guys that I was getting it for the missus. But really, in reality, I was excited to get the Michael Jackson game. Because, man, I can't see nothing but this going up in value. I think I might go back to the spot and get the same game for the DS. Because, like I said, all these games are going to go up in value because it's got... Uh, MJ on there, man. Anything I got, I think that has MJ's name on it has got to go up in value, man. You know, skyrocket. You know, I wish I had the original case. If anybody's out there with the empty original case and a booklet, your boy's on the market for that, man. So holler at me. All right? All right. Let's hit the Urban Retro, and you can reach me at my uh, email. 
Uh, I got two of them, but the first one is Mac Swagger A16 at Gmail. Okay, holla at y'all, boy. Yee. All right. All right, I got that Force Awakens on the Wii. I got uh, part two on uh, PS3, so that, you know, I was excited to get part one. Then y'all saw yesterday that I got, in my mind, the best F-Zero in all of the F-Zero titles. This is the one for the GameCube. F-Zero GX. Uh, stupid excited for that. So, boom, boom, bow. We excited to have that shit. Okay, boom. Moving right along. Uh, man, for a little bit of nothing. I think we got this for like five, six dollars. It was a uh, Mario Baseball. You know, uh, yeah, you know, that guy runs, some places run for like 50 bucks online. Got the, uh, multi-tap for the, uh, PS1. Y'all saw that yesterday on yesterday's video. Uh, look at this. I wish I had the case for this guy, but I was stupid excited to get this. I don't really think dude knows what he has whenever you get to have something with all the franchise faces like this, like Sonic Tennis or Mario Tennis. These guys are always going to sell like hotcakes. So this guy sold this one to me for like, I think a dollar, two dollars at the most. You know, I was excited to get it. You know what I mean? And uh, then he just threw in this book right there. So, you know, I'm excited about that. Uh, oh, man, who remembers this guy? I don't got the case, but he did give me the book with a pretty clean disc of uh, NFL Blitz Pro. You know what I mean? So that's a pretty good score. And I got that guy for a dollar, man, a dollar. Then I got this guy for the 360. Dragon Age. So, you know, we get a little smorgasbord. We move all around. You know what I'm saying? We got that guy for a dollar, two dollars, something like that. We got this guy for a dollar. We don't got the booklet. But Brutal Legend uh, was an amazing game. You know what I mean? So, what is this? Wow, double fine. Oh, Wow. This is a like a uh this is like a uh babe this is like a rock hero babe but he's like using his uh guitar like weapons as he runs through the levels and stuff. I kind of want to play that just to see what it looks like. It looks like a game that uh Metal Jesus would like or something. You feel me? <laughs> Brutal legend. So, you know, man, I got that guy for a dollar, dude. That looks kind of fun and entertaining. But man, we got all this stuff, man. You know, Man, all this is under 50 bucks, you know what I mean? So, we was excited. And then, oh, I forgot, I got a brand new Wii. Let me go get that just to show you. Not brand new, but it's pretty, it's in good shape. It don't got the door or nothing, but it's one of the GameCube compatible uh, Wiis. So, we was excited about that dude right there. You know, boom. You know, we got that guy for like... 15 bucks, you know what I mean? That was in the total haul. If you bunched it up with everything, it comes out to each item is about, oh, maybe $4.60, some shit like that. But each item priced out individually, you know, it comes out to about $4.60. So we did really good. We was out there making deals. You know what I mean? It don't matter who I'm with. I can be with my missus. I can be with my son. You know, it don't matter. You know, it's uh, I'm always stay focused. You know, yesterday, little man got his uh, Pokemon cards and Yu-Gi-Oh cards. And I think Ninjago, he's all into all that stuff. So, you know, I was happy to see him get some of the things that he likes to collect. And then the missus, she got down there and today. She got like a... Uh, uh, I think she got like some uh cheap kids medicine like over the counter stuff you know they got like stuff that's just like a little bit dinged up or might be past the sale date or something but we got that for like a little bit of nothing so i was happy to do that i mean happy that she was able to do that and see some things that maybe she wanted to do and then you know uh we also got a little lunch or slash breakfast you know uh it's kind of like a Mexican brunch. Had a little uh, couple tacos, you know. It's pretty good, you know. So now we fueled until later on, you know. But uh, today was a real good day. Um, 
always fun and it's always exciting when I'm out there looking for deals. You know, you can't just throw your money at anything, but uh, there's there might be some deals that present themselves. And you know, if you get to be the person that picks through first, you know, what I mean, you get to get uh, be the first crack at things sometimes with certain people. And now that they know my name and know that I'll be wanting some of these things, maybe they'll go out and pick up things just for me, thinking about me and mine. So that's really cool. So. I would always say that if you go to any spot where you can uh, uh, potentially meet the person who owns the establishment, try to uh, create a relationship with the, that person. Uh, create a little rapport with them. You know what I'm saying? Cause uh, And be charming. You know what I'm saying? Don't be an asshole, man. Do not go in there thinking that that person owes you a deal because they don't owe you shit. All right? You go in there. Use your manners. Man, remember, smile. You know what I mean? Try to be uh, acting like a fucking human being. You know what I mean? Some people go into places acting like robots and they got no charisma. I've seen a wet sock with more fucking personality than some of you people out here. You know what I mean? But, you know, try to engage people. You know what I mean? Like, I don't care if it's about uh, the fucking clichéest thing ever. You talk about the weather. If, you know, that's what it takes to break the ice, you know, you got to know how to do something. Everybody don't got the game to run up on people and strike a conversation. So if you can run up on somebody and say something as simple as, man, it is hot as hell outside. You know what I mean? That will start a conversation up in a positive way, and everybody can feed off of that, you know? So remember, no one owes you a deal, and try to use a little uh, personality. Be yourself, you know what I mean? And, uh... Always remember, the worst thing someone can do is tell you no, okay? Uh, closed mouth is never going to get fed. So don't be afraid to ask for the deal, okay? You you know, that's the one-on-one -on -one in negotiation. You know what I'm saying? You put your number out there, I put my number out there. Maybe by some kind of way we can meet in the middle. You know what I'm saying? If not... You go your way, I go my way. No harm, no foul, right? This has been another episode of the Urban Retro uh, with your boy Max Swagger, a.k.a. Tony Mango. Uh, I just want to say God bless you and happy Father's Day if it applies to you. And just enjoy your day and just have an all-around pleasant day. Until next time, yee!